Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Adriana. I am a fifth year health scientist student and also a health peer with SFU Health and Counseling. And my name is Mia. I am a fourth year health science student and also a health peer with SFU's Health and Counseling. As health peers, Adriana and I work with the health promotion team at Health and Counseling to support students' health and well being on campus through free events and workshops. Some of the themes are our outreaches are mental health, sexual health, healthy eating, and physical activity. Before we begin, we want to respectfully acknowledge that SFU is on the unceded and traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, Kwikwetlem, and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. Today, the theme me and I will be talking about is self-awareness and how to recognize our own character strengths. Through reflection, we have identified this is an important topic to discuss because knowing and applying your top three character strengths can be a key to being your best self. Research shows that using your character strengths can help you, one, improve your relationships, two, enhance your health and overall well-being, and three, manage and overcome problems. Today, we are going to be using the VIA Character Strengths Survey. This is a free online survey that you can take to find out which character strengths are your strongest. It only takes about five to ten minutes to complete, and we will link the website down below in the description of this podcast so you can also do the survey. Before analyzing our character strengths and identifying how we've applied them to our own lives, we're going to just give some background information on what self-awareness means and how we can apply it to our strengths. So broadly, self-awareness is actually a building block of cultivating resilience. And being self-aware means noticing and understanding your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and understanding how they affect both you and those around you. And one way you can practice self-awareness is by getting to know your own strengths and how to apply them to your own life. At this point, you may be wondering what exactly these strengths are. Our strengths are positive traits that are shown through our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. And when we are using our strengths, we are actually functioning at our best. So for today, we're gonna be doing an activity that reflects on these strengths. Getting to know the order of your character strengths may be a helpful tool to deepen your understanding and put your strengths into action. Prior to this podcast, both Adriana and I have taken the Character Strengths Survey on the VIA website, and we will be now talk about a bit about these strengths and our top three and what it means to us. So Adriana, did you want to start with this? Yeah. So after I took the survey and I got my results, and I found out that honesty was actually my top result. And on the website, this is uh, presenting oneself in a genuine and sincere way and taking responsibility for one's feelings and actions. And then to round out my top three, um, the second one I got is fairness. And this is not letting feelings bias decisions about others and giving everyone a fair chance. And then finally, my third one that I got was teamwork. So this is working well as a member of a group or a team and being loyal to the group while doing one's share. So those were the top three that I got. Yeah, like knowing you and like who you are and our friendship, like those three do seem to play like quite a fit of role in it, um, just in general. Do you feel that like those reflect who you are and like like yourself? Um, I think, yes, they do reflect me and myself. But after I got my results, I think I was a bit surprised that honesty was my first one and that fairness was my second one. I wasn't necessarily expecting those to be my top two out of the 24 possible character strengths. But after reading a bit more about each one, um, I think that, yeah, I think that these top three are pretty accurate about myself. Yeah, I think like for sure on that front, like even if you find that like what you got as your answers maybe don't necessarily like 100% or maybe surprise you a bit, I think they're still like present in your life. I kind of found this with like my ones as well, that like they might not necessarily describe like what I think of myself as, but they might be applicable into like different life situations. I think yeah, like I for think, you. Yeah, sorry. Go. I think honesty for sure is one of those ones. Like I try to live my life in the most honest way possible through all my relationships. And I think that's also something that I look for um, through my own friendships and other aspects of my life as well. Yeah, no, that's a good I point. Think, yeah, yeah, right. I think that also um, fairness and teamwork, those apply in my life kind of collectively, like together, because I think mm-hmm. they're been, pretty similar. Yeah, I've been on a team in many different situations in my life. Like I've played a lot of sports I played a lot of field hockey and soccer so I've been a team member there but then also um as a team member of the health peers I like practice being a good team member and practice fairness I guess all the time you just don't really really realize it 
but mm -hmm. I think that these are all three are character strengths that I have used and that I will continue to use in my life. But that's uh, really great. What were your top three that you got? So, okay, so kind of a similar boat, um, not in the character strength sense, ours are very different, <laughs> but in just not expecting it. Um, my first one was humor. So this was described on the website as liking to laugh and tease, bringing smiles to other people, seeing the light side and making jokes. My second one was perspective. This was being able to provide wise counsel to others, having ways of looking at the world that makes sense to oneself and others. And then the last one I got was leadership. This was defined as encouraging a group of one of which one is a member to get things done and at the same time to maintain good relations within the group, organizing group activities and seeing that they happen. With mine, I think the one that I resonate the most with just in daily life was definitely the first one. It was definitely one of the lighter character strengths I got in the sense that it was more um, fun. <laughs> with that one, I do tend to reflect that more in my relationships and in my friendships. I can definitely say that's like the way I try and create relationships is through first like breaking the ice with like maybe humor or trying to build that into my friendships. I think yeah for us that was definitely like a big one. We whenever we're together we're always like laughing and having fun. So <laughs> yeah we were definitely a big, a big part in that. Um, but how about the other two? How have you applied those to your life? Yeah, so the other two, I find it took me longer to figure out maybe where those belong to. I think I was maybe looking at this as more like, oh, your character strength has to be something that you use every day. But I think that my other two are more applicable into maybe more serious aspects of my life, such as how I organize school and work. I think that I take on a fairly leadership role a lot of the time when I am in work positions and in school positions, especially like I see that in health peers, like I tend to lead a lot of the outreaches. And in my own work, I have run a lot of manager roles. With perspective, I think that kind of ties into that as well, is being able to look at things from like multiple viewpoints, maybe analyzing it a bit deeper, and then being able to apply that thought process into making decisions. I think that kind of all loops back together. Yeah, for sure. I think knowing you, um, those three, like really check out. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> but, um, but you've also identified a lot of ways that you've used your character strengths in your own life. And ultimately, I guess we both feel that understanding our own character strengths can really help us to be happier and more confident. They can help strengthen relationships. Uh, they can help us to accomplish our goals and then also manage problems and stress. And an idea of this is that when you're feeling overwhelmed, you can draw on your character strengths to help you overcome these difficulties that you may be facing. And an example of this that we both thought of is when you're faced with multiple deadlines and tests during the week, which is something I'm sure we've all experienced as students. Um, maybe you can try using one of your top character strengths from the survey to, to help you through. Um, and then mm -hmm. after you complete your character strength survey, just maybe take a moment and reflect on how your results resonate with you. Maybe think about how you've used them in the past and how you can use them going forward in your own life. Perfect. So yeah, as Adriana just said, I hope you have all learned a bit about self-awareness and how you can use your own character strengths in your life, as well as in different aspects. Um, from this point forward, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at SFUHCS, and find out more about our upcoming events and additional resources at www.sfu.ca slash students slash health. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a good rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.